So I've been in Snarky since the beginning. Um, you know, me and Mike met in the UK in Leeds. Uh, and it was one of those right time, right place things. We just kind of hit it off. We met and I was ready to kind of spread my wings and see the world. And Mike was just in the process of putting Snarky Puppy together and he was looking for a piano player. Uh, and so he invited me out um, for the first recording. And yeah, and then the, the rest is history, I guess. Yeah, I find playing, playing in Snark is just so inspiring, you know, like everybody just has such different influences and you get on the bus and everybody's listening to like, you know, we're just sharing new music all the time, you know, and it's just like everything from Susanna Baca to, to Noah, you know. I think having all these musicians from all these different backgrounds really kind of informs, I don't know, a wide spectrum of, of influence, you know, and it's just such an inspiring stage to be on, you know, because everybody's pushing as well, you know. It's a great place to, to be writing and to have new musical ideas, you know. For years we were playing house parties and sleeping on sofas, you know, and I'd go to the States and come back, you know, like quite significantly in the red, uh, like financially. And, uh, but we had a, you know, the time of our lives. We were just traveling around, not making any money, but playing gigs, you know, around the States. Um, and then gradually things built up. I think my, my band, it's interesting because it, there's so many guys in the band, all with their own personalities, that I see my main role as a band leader as highlighting different people during the gig and their strengths to provide variety in the, in the concert experience. I feel like as an audience member, if you go to see Snarky Puppy, what you should leave with is the idea that you got a glimpse into every single guy on stage as a musical personality. Oh yeah, playing a Snarky Puppy, um, total different approach than any other band I've been a part of. Snarky Puppy is, uh, I like to say, a band of producers who happen to play instruments. Uh, we all like to think of music in a different type of way where we're not totally about ourselves or our instruments, but we're more about, you know, the development and progression of, of, of what we do together, how our bandmates sound from night in, night out, listening to the songs might change in tempo or, uh, you know, style or so many other different things that can happen on stage on Smarky Puppy, which is totally different than the normal of, I guess, I won't say normal, but just other gigs, you know. Ah, oh, man, touring is hard work. And we've, certainly with Snarky Puppy, we've really kind of slogged. We, you know, we were lugging our own gear for years and years out of the van, into the venue back into the van at the end of the gig and then doing it all over again the next day. Uh, whereas now, um, you know, Snarky have, we have our own, own tech team. We've got our own, like generally the, the all the gear is set up, um, you know, before you, <laughs> before you've arrived in the country. So it's, it's, it's amazing. Well, the tour started a few weeks ago in the US, uh, I guess three weeks ago. We did like a two week run there. And Japan to Dublin to to the UK. Been through the whole of the UK for the last week. This tour is a very different one for me and I think the band, I don't, you know, I don't know why, but for some reason this tour is different. The momentum of the band just sort of grows and grows the more, the more we tour, like, and every time, you know, 
we kind of the cr the crowd is there and the crowd is hungry and the crowd wants they kind of want to hear us improvising. You know, it's kind of that's what they respond to. But the music we've been making has really really been special. You know, we've been having great nights and then the next night gets better, then the next night gets better. And you know, and it's like every night gets its own shine. Every night gets its own epicness. And uh, it's, it's really been cool. It really kind of makes us raise our, our game, you know, and we're always pushing each other. This way. <laughs> Here we go. Here comes Brighton. It's, it's, it's a joy. I don't get to play with too many keyboard players, especially in bands. No, normally bands only have one keyboard player anyway. And the few that I have done with other keyboard players, um, you know, it's been, it's different. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, You gotta go slow like Corey. See Corey, look at that. Control, he's got towels. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> Playing with Bill, is um, it's like peanut butter and jelly. Well, y'all don't even like peanut butter and jelly out here, do you guys? It's like fish and chips. What do y'all like in London? I don't know. It's like a duo, like Jordan Pippen or Shaq and Kobe, or you know, just um, it's a cool duo. <laughs> put your elbows in. One more. Put your elbows in. Just press up a one. There you go. <laughs> it's a combination. Uh, one, Come on, four, man. Three, four, Twenty. He writes four records <laughs> in a year, and he could do 20 push-ups. <laughs> Tell me, <your> kids. <laughs> What's the challenge? <laughs> and we stretch each other a lot sometimes. He'd play some stuff, and I'd be like, whoa, I need to go back home and practice. It's probably every night he does that. Bill, he's a badass. So, you know, it's just it's cool to be able to explore different areas with him uh, as a keyboard player. It's wonderful, man. I, I enjoy playing with Bill, and hopefully we get the play some more music. We've been talking about doing a, a, a duo record one of these days. So after he's finished making all these seven million records, he'll find some time we do some other stuff outside of Snarky Puppy too, so. I put it on record, so you gotta do it now, Billy. We gotta do it. <laughs> challenge. 